What's going on world? It's your man Saint Uno back again for another one. And in today's video, we are going to talk about the power of rejection. And um, got a little allegory basically. Um, if you're into, you know, the urban community, the, uh, you know what I'm saying, urban slang, we have a term. And this term is called getting curved, right? So you may, you know what I'm saying, be out at a function or just out on your regular day to day. And you see, you know what I'm saying, nice young lady that you want to approach or something like that, you go up to her, you spit your little rap, you spit your little G, and she say, you thought I was feeling you? <laughs> but she don't even let you much. She just, she just, you know what I'm saying? She just don't give you the time of day. What do we call that? We call that getting curved. You got curved. And it doesn't just have to play out um, as relationships, you know what I'm saying? It can play out. You can get curved from a job. Your friends could curve you, you know what I'm saying? You get curved. Curve, getting curved, um, you can get curved by anything, you know what I'm saying? Life itself can curve you. You may have plans and, you know what I'm saying, curving your ass, you know what I'm saying? So basically, um, getting rejected is getting curved. Now, why I want to break down, why I want to uh, basically break down that definition is because um, there's, there's power. Whenever we make like uh, Ebonics or slang for something, you know what I'm saying, there's a lot more kind of undiscovered truth in in that um ebonics that we basically make up um and that's this that's applies for this situation in getting curved so the power of rejection or the power of getting curved is that when you get curved if you know how to get curved properly this can be the make or break point um in your life and how to how what do i mean by that so think about this when you get curved by something um, or like when you get like a really big curve, when you get a really big rejection, when you get a really big curve, this is what causes you to basically curve your life around, right? If you think about a curve, it's like that U, you know what I'm saying? It has a no U, new, no U turn signs. It's like that. So it's like you're going for something and you get curved, you get rejected. You know what I'm saying? This is take this rejection as a redirection because that's what getting curved is. It's a redirection. Um, you may get curved uh, by women. You may get curved by a job. You may get curved by anything, like I was saying. And you have two choices when you get curved, right? You can either get curved and take it as a loss and say, oh, I'm not good enough or I'm not worthy or, you know what I'm saying, I need to try harder. I need to, you know what I'm saying, do more to appease external things so that I don't get curved or you can take you can harness the the hurt and the pain of that curve and say you know what I'm going to curve my life around and not give my power away to external situations um, and basically become more attractive whether that means financially or romantically or whatever I'm going to it's like uh, it's basically Mike Jones energy you know what I'm saying it's a uh, Back then, they didn't want me. Now I'm hot that y'all alone me. You know what I'm saying? Like, Mike Jones probably got curved, you know what I'm saying, by record labels. He probably got curved by women. He was getting curved so many times to the point where he could have kept trying and doing that same old thing. But he said, nah, you know what? If y'all don't want to see my value, that's cool. I see my own value. I'm going to hop in the booth and I'm going to make an anthem. Back then, they didn't want me. Now I'm hot, they all alone. me. Back then, they didn't want me. So he took that curve, that getting curved situation, and made it super profitable. Now, every all the labels that was curving him, they probably wanted him after that song. All the women that was curving him, they probably wanted him after that song. So you got to basically change the way that you interpret getting curved. You know what I'm saying? Rejection is not a bad thing. It is oftentimes the way God comes to us because we're headed down the wrong path and the wrong path is basically giving too much value to the external world, external people, external validation uh, to basically dicti dic dictate what it like, how much value we have. You know what I'm saying? We can't give our power away. You, once you realize you have the power and you begin to curve those situations, it's like, well, I, you know what I'm saying? I don't even... I don't even need to go out and try to, uh, you know what I'm saying, be on a record label. I could do my own thing here. I don't need to go out and try to get women, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to become a high-value male, not to get too red pill or anything like that. But, um, you know what I'm saying? 
and basically get to the point and you're basically just taking your power back so that now that you become all the value, you don't have to let external situations, um, external people uh, determine your value. You have the power to determine your value. But a lot of times we, we don't understand that. We give our, we get our sense of power and importance to our job titles, the relationships we're in, the people we're able to attract, the money that we're able to attract and all these sort of things where these things, they're not bad. They can be representative of you um, having value, but don't get the game turned around. Don't get the game messed up. You know what I'm saying? You got to create that value for yourself. It's not for you to keep always going out into the external world and approaching people and, you know what I'm saying, just begging. That's what, essentially what you're doing. You're basically just begging other people to validate you when to hell with those other people, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like that famous story from um, from Michael Jordan getting, uh, didn't, like, like he didn't make his varsity basketball team. Now, I don't know if this is actually true, but the wisdom and the, you know what I'm saying, it probably is true, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've heard it a bunch of times, so either way, you know what I'm saying, there's, there's, a, there's a, the moral of the story is that, yeah, the greatest basketball player of all time didn't make his varsity high school team. And he used that curve to basically redirect him and say, you know what, I'm not going to, I need to get my life on track. I need to spend more time in the gym, put up more shots than these people, um, put in more effort, you know what I'm saying, get so good at basketball that it's going to be undeniable that I can get curved again, you know what I'm saying, and then I won't even have to go out to apply, you know what I'm saying, or try out for basketball team, you know what I'm saying, recruits going to be banging on my door. And that's what you always, you always want to be in that position. You always want to be attractive, you know what I'm saying? And when we talk about like the law of attraction and stuff, that's kind of the big thing. It's like you're not, um, it's like the more you go out and try to manifest or materialize things, um, the state that you're in is actually in, in the, you're in a state of lack by even going out and trying to get the approval of others. Whereas... If you can validate yourself and create value for yourself, then there's no need to go. Now, I'm not saying don't deal with people and just isolate yourself from the world, but you want to you wanna have all the negotiating power. You know what I'm saying? You want people to be banging on your door, giving you opportunities, um, and then you get to pick and choose if you even want to parlay with them or not because we all have that power, but a lot of the times we don't utilize it because... We're so it, it takes time and it takes discipline and we try to make a shortcut basically by saying, okay, well, I don't want to work on myself, but if I can get in this relationship, if I can get this job, if I can get this money, then that'll make people think that I'm, you know what I'm saying, high value or, or you know what I'm saying, or a valuable, important person and I don't have to do the necessary shadow work and put in that 10,000 hours to, you know what I'm saying, my business or my creative gifts or whatever it is to really create a source of value that is undeniable. I, you, you know what I'm saying, you're subconsciously, you'd be like lazy, you don't want to do that. So it's like, you know what, I'm just going to go get these external representations to um, validate my value. And you might get away with it for a, long, a little while, but you know what I'm saying, you, whether it's this lifetime or the next one, at a certain point, um, you're going to get like the, that big curve, you know what I'm saying? I, I believe that every great man and woman um, is kind of defined by a great curve. This was even basically the uh, premise of my uh, podcast. If you remember the podcast I did a couple years back, Taking Nails Podcast. That was the main question that I would ask everybody. I'm like, I was interviewing people who are, you know what I'm saying, entrepreneurs, creative, basically people that I was inspired by or thought they had something going on. And the premise was that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm thinking about Rush Hour 2. That's my favorite movie. Uh, Chris Tucker, he'd be like, the, the Chris Tucker theory of crime. Behind every big crime, rich white man. You know what I'm saying? That's the law he had. Well, the law that I have is that behind every successful person is a major L that they took to basically, which is a curve, which is a rejection, to basically redirect them, put them on that U-turn, and then put them on the right way in life. Because... You know what I'm saying? We're oftentimes going down the wrong path. And the wrong path is, like I just said, basically just living for external validation as opposed to realizing that, you know what I'm saying, that curve is like going back into the internal. You were going external, now you're going into your internal realm to realize, you know what, this is all illusion anyway. I don't need to be going out into the illusion 
to find validation. I validate myself. And once I'm able to do that and practice that and get good at that, all the external representations of that will become apparent. So you may look like the person with the dream relationship, the dream job, the dream house, the dream money, the dream, all that manifestation, materialization stuff. But, but people will, that don't understand that, you know what I'm saying, is in you, not on you, uh, may try to copy that the wrong way and actually try to, um, you know what I'm saying, a- avoid rejection and avoid, uh, you know what I'm saying, feeling less than and invalidated and try to find that externally as opposed to, you know what I'm saying, do what it really takes. Whatever it takes, I know I'm going to make it through. Shouts to the grassy wheelchair Drake. You know what I'm saying? Put, doing whatever it takes to create that value internally. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, that was the point of my podcast. Um, and check those episodes out if you had. You can type in Taken, T-A-K-E-N-L's podcast. I interview Dola the Pilot Man, Flight Boss on there. Shouts him out. And a bunch of other cool people. I ended up doing like 34 episodes. People tell me I should bring it back, but I don't know. I don't know. I might bring it back. I I don't know. It's cool, but like, I just it it's a lot. Like trying to coordinate with other people. Like I kind of just like doing my own thing. And then like for all, as many awesome dope people that I did interview, I did get into some situations where it was like, why am I talking to this motherfucker? Like you know what I'm saying? I got more game. I could be kicking by myself than I am actually interviewing this motherfucker who don't really even know shit. So. That's kind of how I ended up feeling about it. Um, but like I said, I might bring it back. I don't know. It is good to network, you know what I'm saying, and do stuff like that. But even that, you know what I'm saying, like um, getting curved on certain interviews, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting curved and rejected by people, and it's like, wait a minute. I got more knowledge. I got more sauce. I got more. I could just make a bunch of videos in my, you know what I'm saying? I, I am the content. I don't need other pe- people to content, and that made me go harder. You know what I'm saying? And building my own channel up, you know what I'm saying? But that curve. So, like, that's basically the philosophy. Behind every great person is a major rejection that they went through. So, you may be going through a rejection or just went through a rejection. This is your message on this Sunday. You know what I'm saying? And this is some real, like, I feel like I've heard this in church or something like that. But, you know what I'm saying? Important messages bear repeating. You know what I'm saying? Like, they say, like, God's, uh, uh, man's man's rejection is like God's redirection or something like that. That's basically what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Um, You got to understand that the rejections that you experience in life, you getting curved, is basically just redirecting you and pointing you back to yourself to understand, okay, it's not about uh, out there. Once I'm creating the value internally for myself, then all the external representations will necessarily just have to fall in my lap. And it don't go no further than that, you know what I'm saying? So uh, if you got curved, make that the last time that you got curved. Let that be the final curve, the straw that breaks the candle's back and forces you to change your life and go on the right path. And this is basically just, um, you know what I'm saying, value to create value for yourself, whether you're a high-value man or a high-value woman. And this is not to say I'm not preaching being isolated and not forming relationships with people or not, you know what I'm saying, networking. Because all that is important, but you got to have the right starting point. When you try to build relationships and networks from a place of lack, and you're always trying to trick people into, or, um, you know what I'm saying, grovel, essentially, to get that job or get in that relationship, then it may work for a little while, but it's never going to truly satisfy you, and it's going to eventually have a tower moment and fall and not be, you know what I'm saying, worth anything. And you're going to have to, and basically, you're going to feel like you wasted a whole bunch of time, because now... You're back alone again, and then you don't really have, you realize you could have been using all that time at that job or with that relationship to build up your own value, build up your own skill set and whatever it is, um, you know what I'm saying, to just make you uh, a more high, high value person. So don't, there's no more time to be wasted. It's 2023, you know what I'm saying? Like, playtime is over. We all got to, you know what I'm saying, you can't avoid the, the, the spiritual path, you know what I'm saying? And the path is always within and then once you take the power within the external manifestations and representations um, will show up. So that's pretty much the message for today. Thanks for watching and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.